Nearly 80% of the antibiotics in this country aren't used on people. They're used on animals. Animals we eat. And most of these animals aren't even sick. When an animal is sick, it's given therapeutic antibiotics, which Bill and Nicolette Nyman, California ranchers with four decades experience raising cattle, define as. A specific dose used for a limited period of time in an amount calculated for an individual animal or to cure an individual disease. It's like when you go to the doctor and he gives you antibiotics. You take them for a short period of time and then you stop. In industrial agriculture, animals are kept in closely confined conditions and given subtherapeutic antibiotics as a preventative measure. Bill and Nicolette Nyman define this as a low level dosage used for extended periods of time on otherwise healthy cattle, mainly to increase their daily weight gain. That's right. When animals are given antibiotics, even when they don't need them, they gain weight. And since a fat pig is worth more than a skinny one, using antibiotics, even if an animal isn't sick, actually increases a farmer's profits. Except there's a problem. The misuse of antibiotics encourages the evolution of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Bacteria that could be harmful to people, which is not good. Plus, animals fed antibiotics create animal waste, full of those very same antibiotics. These can contaminate our drinking water and ravage our ecosystems, and may eventually work their way back to people. People like you. Antibiotic-free. Do you know what's in the meat you eat? To learn more about terms like antibiotic-free, visit lexiconofsustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world.